With the magic wand tool, you have more control over which objects are turned into stitches. You can totally ignore areas of the artwork that you don't want to use. You choose the order of stitching as you are clicking. So you want to make sure you digitize from the background to the foreground, or you will have additional editing to do. For example, the blue areas of this image are behind the red object. So you would want to digitize the blue area first. You can also pre-select the type of stitch you want to use by clicking on object properties and choosing the type of fill stitch or the type of outline stitch that you wish to use. You want to click apply and then you can click OK. Select the magic wand tool and notice that the status bar tells you to click on an area of the artwork. Click on the artwork and the prepare bitmap dialog box appears. There are six colors and we don't need to reduce those any further, just click OK. Notice that a black netting appears on the picture. This shows you what area of the image will be processed when you click on the image. Begin with the blue image areas. If I left click, it will add a fill stitch. If I right click, it adds an outline. So I'm going to left and right click on each one of these areas. That added the pre-selected type of fill as well as the pre-selected type of outline. I can then go back to a different type of fill and add all the areas of the gold. Click on the red object and you can choose not to digitize these. When you're done adding Magic Wand, press Escape and now the design is ready to edit. Some stitch angles need to be changed. Select the first object you wish to edit and click on reshape. Remember that the peach squares that you see in between the line are used to edit the stitch angle. After editing one object, press the tab key to go to the next and you can continue editing the angle. Instead of changing the angle of the red object, press Escape to exit, reshape, select the red object, and open Object Properties. Change to a step fill, pattern number one, and click OK. To hide the picture, click on Show Bitmap, and you can see your design in more detail. Like Auto Digitize, the pull compensation is automatically updated for objects that need to be changed. Save the file and it's ready to send to the machine for stitching.